All right, guys, video number two. All right, so in today's video, we're going to do a valve adjustment. Uh, just for those of you guys who don't know, um, I did a head gasket a while back. Buddy mixed up my lifters, put the lifters in. Um, got some jerkage and some mad tickage and uh, took it to a shop. Unfortunately, I didn't do it right. I didn't have time because I was working at the time and I just went and paid. I'm not going to place the shop, uh, say the shop name, but they didn't do it right. And I know they didn't do it right because I could still hear the lifter ticks leaving the shop, but I was in a fucking rush and I said, fuck it, I'll just come back later. Never got around to it. So today we're doing a valve adjustment. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Uh, you guys are definitely going to need to pick up some uh, feeler, feeler gauges. Uh, you get those at O'Reilly's AutoZone. They're usually like 13 bucks. You're gonna need some other tools, but I'll address that throughout the video. Um, yeah. Uh, first things first, you're gonna have to jack up the car, and we're gonna have to take the wheel off because we have to get to we have to um, we have to put a socket on the crank and and turn it. Um, so go ahead and get that situated and get started. All right, see this crank bolt right there? Let me get, let me get a flush load. All right, see that bolt right there? That's for the crank. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that. We're gonna put a socket on there and that's what we're gonna use to uh, turn the cams. And that's how we're gonna do our valve adjustment. Uh, let me show you guys what the feeler gauge look like. All right, these are the feeler gauges. Now, um, these are right here. They look like little toothpicks, but um, you use these to check the gappage in between the lifter and the lobes of the cam. Um, I'll get more into it, but they look like this. About the 35 gauge, there's smaller ones that you can buy. But I think uh, what you need is a 0 0.007 to uh, a 0 0.01. Now that's just the range. I think it's like, I think intake's like 0.07 and out takes like 0.09 don't quote me on it i'll find numbers and i'll put the link or i'll, I'll put the the specs for the b18 b1 in the description uh, but for now what you need to do is you need to pull the spark plugs after it's been lifted gotta, gotta lift it and make sure you use jack stands don't fuck up your shit uh pull the spark plugs and we're pulling the valve cover off and then uh yeah, we go from there and start adjusting. You're also going to need a 10 mil and a flathead. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and pull off the valve cover and we'll go from there. As a matter of fact, let me show you what this car sounds like with the lifter tape. <clears throat> this is what it sounds like. So 
so pretty much it sounds like it's buzzing it's like because there's a lot of vibration there's a lot of loose play in there but i'm gonna go ahead and take the valve cover off and get started all right now that we have this bad boy ready what we gonna do is we gonna set this bad boy at tdc now this is how you set your car at tdc you see these right here they're little up arrows and they both need to be straight up and how you do that is you look for these lines right here there's little notches little notches you see there the little notches anyways you can't really see it in the camera but if you look if you're doing this and you're looking at your cams they'll be there you'll make sure those lines are even and those arrows will be straight up now for every cylinder we're gonna rotate 90 degrees 90 degrees so first let's set this at top dead center um, I'm gonna look up the specs real quick and I'll show you what uh, show you how to adjust for uh, b18 b1 okay now when you're looking at the cams you'll see the lifted lobe side now the lobes will be out out to their corresponding side and now for the first cylinder we are ready to adjust the valves um now each one does not have to be specifically on tdc just make sure the lobes are at least facing up or off of the lifter like the rounded side because it's like a cone it's got like a rounded side and then it comes to a point but these that that little point needs to be off the little lifter so just as long as the rounded side is touching the lifter it doesn't have to be perfect but once it's there then you can fucking um adjust your lifters so um let me grab the feeler gauges and uh, we'll go from there all right so we have the feeler gauges uh intake's gonna be 0 0.004 and exhaust side is gonna be 0 0.007 um so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these feeler gauges we're gonna do the intake side first and we're gonna slip them in there and see if there is if it, if it feels all right pushing in it should be pretty clean pulling out there should be a little bit of resistance these ones are too loose so I'm gonna have to adjust these you see how there's like I don't even have to pull back don't go straight down because then it's gonna feel like some resistance you need to go at it from an angle so I need to adjust those so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flathead uh, it's a 12 mil excuse me 12 mil in a flathead and uh, make sure you got your righty tighty lefty loosey going and uh, I'm gonna put your thing like that I'm gonna break it loose hold on I'm gonna put the camera down all right, sorry fellas, that thing was so tight I had to break it loose a little bit. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna adjust the height of the, um, the lifter, and then you're gonna tighten it down, and then you're gonna recheck, um, how it feels by putting this in there now unfortunately it 
it just needs to be a tad bit tighter <clears throat> oh wrong wrong fucking get wrench See how that feels. Not yet. I think I was sending it the wrong way. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Almost, just a tad smudgings, just a smudgings. Check this feeler gauge. That's pretty nice. And then you're just gonna do that. 0 0.04, 0 0.04, and make sure this side's good. Then you make sure these ones are good. And just go all the way across. But every time you finish a cylinder, you need to make sure each other cylinder is at top dead center when you're testing it. And uh, you just make sure there's a little bit of resistance pulling and you're good to go. Um, like I said, it won't be perfect. It's going to take a couple tries, but I'll go ahead and uh, fast forward this and we'll jump ahead and uh, we'll go from there once I'm finished with all of the uh, cylinders. All right, so this is all done. Valve covers back on, wheels back on. Now we're about to test to see. Ooh. Oil on the cam, no bueno. Now we're about to test, see if uh, my valve adjustment was correct. Now listen, the reason why I cut out the video was because this would have taken an even longer process. Um, not in terms of me being lazy, but for you particular individuals, you guys probably have just one loose uh, lifter or lobe or whatever you guys call them i call them lifters um me i had to adjust every single one unfortunately they were all fucking loose it was so bad it was fucking ridiculous um so i didn't want to spend an hour and a half doing this shit turning the wheel 
adjusting forward, turning the wheel, adjusting forward, turning the wheel, adjusting forward. That would get repetitive for you guys. But it's very simple. You just, from TDC, you just rotate it 90 degrees, and then you obviously uh, change the, uh, or adjust the cylinders in the firing order. Um, the lobes will point towards the intake and towards the exhaust. Um, they can be straight up, whatever, how you want to do it. There's different methods, but that's just the way that I do it. Um, so let's go ahead and crank this bitch and see what we got. Um, I'm going to do it right now before I drop the car because obviously I'd have to open everything up and uh, do it again. Also, listen, if you're going to do a valve adjustment, go ahead and buy a fucking um, valve cover gasket because they stretch and they warp, dude. Like, there's no point in trying to force it in. And for those of you that try and save your gasket, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. It's 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 gonna be too stretched when you pull it off, so just fucking buy a new one and replace it. Um, me, being cheap, so I'm probably gonna have to ch change it later. Well, it's not that I'm cheap, I just didn't go and buy one before I went ahead and did this today. I didn't think far ahead, um, so I'll probably have to replace it again. Um, but go ahead, buy a valve cover gasket if you're doing um, valve adjustment. But yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. All right. Ooh. And she sounds beautiful. Y'all hear that? Um, if you can, skip to the beginning of the video where I just fucking uh, played the click and you hear the cut, 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 cut. Running beautiful, she sounds great, amazing. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how you do the valve adjustment. Now, listen, you still have to pay attention to it because over the next couple weeks, if you're driving it on the daily. You need to pay attention to the smell because if you're smelling something, it's too tight and you have to loosen it. Remember, like I said earlier, it's better to hear them than fucking smell it. So for that, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to just shoot me a text or not a text, a, a comment. Um, please like the video, subscribe, support my channel. And uh, like I said before, if anybody's interested in these teas, look at me, ooh, ooh, my cars. If anybody's interested in, you know, getting some sweatshirts or t-shirts for the crew, uh, please comment, you know, maybe we can exchange emails. Uh, it'd be a big help if you guys did that or even, even just, you know, subscribe. Please support me. I want to buy more car parts and, you know, the more subscribers, the better. So, anyways, love, peace, and hair grease, guys. Bye.